President Barack Obama has announced he'll overturn George Bush's ban on using taxpayers' money to fund embryonic stem cell research. Scientists believe the research could help find treatments for diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. As Jonathan Beale reports now, the lifting of the ban could lead to a brain drain from the UK to America. These are the building blocks of life itself. Embryonic stem cells, the very cells that could lead to a cure for a host of diseases. But here in America, many scientists have been prevented from exploring their potential. Science bogged down in a political debate about the right to create or destroy new life. My tagline that I use all when President Bush was in the White House, there was a ban on government-funded research. And Roman Reed feared he had little chance of walking again. He was left paralyzed in a game of college football. But with a new president, his hopes have been rekindled. I've held in my hand a rat that can be completely paralyzed. Embryonic stem cells were put in, and that rat is walking again. Embryonic stem cells are the key. This is huge. Thank you. Barack Obama's promise to usher in a new era, putting scientific research above political ideology. And Roman Reed was among those to witness the president reverse the policies of the Bush administration. As a person of faith, I believe we are called to care for each other and work to ease human suffering. I believe we have been given the capacity and will to pursue this research and the humanity and conscience to do so responsibly. All right, there we go. But this stroke of a pen and the cheers that followed won't end this controversial debate. He's pushing the kind of uh, stem cell research that requires killing human being, and, and it's obsolete. They're able to develop the same kind of stem cells in ethical ways. But the decision will be widely welcomed by American scientists who stand to benefit, and that could have an impact on Britain. This decision and potentially the, the amount of money that this will, will come with this really could jeopardize Britain's position in this field. Whatever the moral arguments, President Obama has just given American science a reason to cheer. Jonathan Beale,